today. Today we're talking about cross-pollinization with um, macadamia trees. Part of the reason why I do these videos is to try to learn from other people um, what best practice is when planting an orchard. And since I put these videos out, I've learnt what well, people have told me about cross-pollinization and so how if you have a plot of trees, a block of trees with only one variety in it, um, there, there'll be no cross-pollinization with other, with other varieties. And so we made a bit of a mistake here where we planted a plot of 849 variety trees. Um, on one side of that plot are some older 246 varieties different varieties, similar trees, but slightly different. And we, it was a bit of a mistake, and they say you could have a yield 10, 20, 30% lower if you've got a block of the same variety trees with no pollinization. But fortunately, we do have a few gaps where we did when we planted the trees in May. And so I've taken some video with the drone already, um, so have a look at that now. Here we are on the drone, with me under the tree. So while we're flying around looking at these holes, I want to talk about a um, podcast put up recently by the Australian Macadamia Society, available on SoundCloud. It was with Helen Wallace, who's a professor of agricultural ecology at Griffith University. And they discussed in the podcast a few interesting facts, interesting to me anyway. Um, first of all, a grafted macadamia tree is genetically the same as another, there's a hole there, uh, it's genetically the same as a grafted macadamia tree of the same variety. So in this, there's a few more holes. Um, we're going to put in two four sixes. So a in this plot here, the eight four nine trees. There, each eight four nine is genetically the same as the other. Um, a macadamia tree does not want to pollinate with itself, um, like all organisms or most organisms. They don't want to become inbred. Um, so it's got mechanisms in it to stop itself from inbreeding and um, the flower of a macadamia tree has both male and female parts to it so it has built into it um, ways to stop itself from being inbred um, des despite all this um, and the, they found that um, there's another hole there that that these large monocultural blocks of block, blocks of the same variety the trees there still are getting cross-pollinated, even if there's hectares, many hectares of the same variety, somehow the pollen gets through. And so despite our best efforts to make life easiest for ourselves by creating, by building the same, planting the same trees of the same variety, there's still, there's still cross-pollinization. But of course, if trees of different varieties are close to each other, then it's better than being far away. And um, there's a another hole we're going to put in a 246 to the right here it's going to be another hole we'll put in another 246 for cross-pollinization so with that drone video you can see where we have a few a few empty holes amongst the other trees they're not in the optimum position um, but they are scattered fairly widely across the place and last week when we planted um, more 849s we did put one 246 in there. So we've got four of these trees now. We originally had we originally bought five. And so in our in our 849 plot, that should give us a total of 10, 10 246 variety trees. And I can probably next year when we plant again, I'm probably going to buy a few more 246s and plant them around as well. And so I have read that you could use like a, sh a shotgun approach, like pellets coming out of the shotgun of a few two, four, sixes here and there, that could help out. So um, that that's probably what you need. So we'll see how it goes with it. Um, it's really hard to say, hard to tell how it's going to go, I guess, because it's hard to measure. Um, but I'm hopeful what we're doing now will be enough. So we're going to be planning today using the club car, this vehicle here.
trying to stabilize it. Looks very similar to an 849, a 246. Not that much different at all, because yeah. they are very similar trees. They're both from Hawaii. They grow around the same size. The 849 nut might be a bit more better commercially than the 246. But the 246 flowers for longer and has has more better flowering. I think. But damp it down a bit. Give it some water. with the hose. Try to dam it up a bit. Might be a bit of a water later. Just throw a bit of fertilizer around it in this bucket. It's a bit of a mixture of prolific blue and Blood and bone. Hardware chain in Australia. It's nice and light. Doesn't hold as much as the other one. chip away from the tree so we don't get that volcano effect or the donut effect as we've talked about before. Alright, done. <laughs> 